Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It's time for another free app hidden gem. This one might be known to some of my retro game fans out there, but it's kind of new to me, so I wanted to share it with all of you. It's called Retro Achievements. This links up with supported retro game emulators like RetroArch and EmuDeck on the Steam Deck, and it allows you to earn achievement points for doing things in retro games on a supported emulator. So for example, I was playing Shoplifter earlier today, and I was uh, going through the motions here, I earned an extra life without losing any lives. And as you'll see here in a second, an achievement pops up and it logs the score on the Retro Achievements website. So my score went up to 286 here, as you can see, and I'm now ranked 100,800 out of 111,000 people on the leaderboard. And that's kind of the gist here is that you do things in retro games, you earn the achievement, and you can brag to your friends and fellow online retro game players about all the things you can accomplish. And so many games now have achievements attached to them. And one of the fun things about this for me is that it's been a motivator to really dig into some retro games, some that I hadn't played before and others that I played as a kid but really haven't looked at in a while. So in this video, we'll take a quick look at retro achievements and how to get it set up and operating and also talk about the two different modes that they offer and hopefully a lot of you will dive in and start playing with it as well so we can start comparing scores. Now I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that the Steam Deck here that you'll see featured I paid for with my own funds. This is not a sponsored review. No one is reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded and all opinions are my own. So why don't we dive into this now and see what Retro Achievements is all about. Now to get started you head over to retroachievements.org and set up an account and once your account is set up, you can attach emulators to it. Now, they've got a list of compatible emulators on here. RetroArch, of course, is supported. I'll show you how to configure it in there. But you also have Dolphin and DuckStation and PCSX2 and many, many others here that are supported. Now, what I did on my Steam Deck, of course, is I used EmuDeck, which is a nice one-click installation of everything. And they can manage your Retro Achievements login through the EmuDeck interface and it will automatically log you into all of your emulators that you have installed. Now, if you're setting up RetroArch standalone, there is a setting for Retro Achievements in the settings menu, a couple of notches up from the bottom here and you can enable achievements. And you type in your username and password here. One thing I noticed though is that hardcore mode is enabled by default. And what that means is that inside of RetroArch, or if you enable it on EmuDeck, inside of all of the EmuDeck emulators, your cheats, your rewinds, your slow motions, and your save states will be disabled. So this is designed for people who are trying to earn achievements based on how the games played originally without all of the modern conveniences of save states and rewinds that we have today. Now, if you do want to use save states, you're allowed to in the softcore mode. And that's the mode that I selected, and they have a separate ranking for that. So everybody in softcore are the more casual players like me. And then, of course, the hardcore players have their own ranking system. They do have rules that you are expected to follow here, a lot of them involving not cheating uh, your way to the top of the rankings. And for me, I found challenging myself to get an achievement is a lot more fun than it would be if I was cheating my way out of it. Now, the way this retro achievement system works is that it ties into the emulator's memory and it's looking for specific values to trigger that achievement event. When it is triggered, the emulator communicates back to the website to record your score and then it gets added to your profile. Now, as you'll notice here on my profile, there's a followed users ranking and I don't actually have anybody I'm following at the moment. So why don't we rectify that? So down here, somebody commented on my wall a few months ago, Perkinator, who's probably now watching this video. And if I jump over to Perkinator's profile, you can see all the games that they have played. And if I go over to the follow button here, this will now have me following their profile. And if we go back to my profile, I can scroll down here to the followed users ranking and we can see how I'm doing against that user. Now, neither one of us is in the hardcore mode. So I'll switch it over here to softcore. And as you can see, we have a similar number of achievements and a fairly similar score here. And you can kind of build up a list of your friends and you can have your own private ranking system of just games that you're playing with people you know. Now they have a great search engine for seeing which games might be compatible. So for example, if we jump up here to the search, I can type in Rogue Squadron or portions of it uh, for the GameCube and click on the one that I want. We'll get a nice profile of the game here along with all of the achievements that are attached to that game. 
And some of them are easier to get at than others, so most players are able to complete the Battle of Yavin, 94% or 95% unlock rate here, as you can see, but others are a little more difficult to achieve. I just love all of the stats they've got on this, along with people who have mastered the game. So I think these are people that were able to earn all of the achievements there. Uh, you also, of course, will get achievements for completing the game, and you can compare all that with your friends. So this is really fun stuff. I also like that they have similar games here too, so you can find games that might be similar to something that you've played before. But you really don't need to do any research to see if a game is supported. So for example, we're gonna load up Sega Ages Afterburner 2 for the Saturn, and this will uh, go into the proper emulator and boot it up, and as you can see, it automatically logged me in. And as the game loads, it'll tell you if there are achievements for it or not. This one happens to have achievements. I've achieved about half of them. Now, one of the things that I love about the Retro Achievements community is that these achievements that they've created go beyond just simple stage completion. So, for example, I've been trying to get at these two here. Uh, one is called Too Close for Missiles, where you destroy 150 enemies with guns on normal difficulty or higher. And as you're playing the game here, and sometimes it's hard to get the game played well when I'm talking, uh, as I shoot planes down with guns, uh, what you will see in the corner here is a counter incrementing. So there it just said 11 out of 150. So you can actually see how close you are to hitting that achievement as you're playing. And it's not going to be in every game, but at least you get that idea as to how close you are to that really tough achievement. And I've gotten really close before, but not close enough. And this, even though I'm in softcore mode, uh, this achievement count will reset if I continue the game. It must be some memory thing that resets inside the emulator. So it really is a hard one to reach, even in softcore mode here. And then, of course, we have the missile achievement that it's counting as well. So these are the sorts of things that you can find in here. And for me, what's been fun is that it gives me some reason to come back to Afterburner here. Even though I earned the achievement to complete the game, I still have more that I want to do. And that's what... Uh, Retro Achievements has done for me here. Now, the achievements are created by the Retro Achievements community, and you can become a Retro Achievement developer by following the guide that they have here on screen. It's a little more complex than just coming up with an idea for what an achievement should be. You have to understand how emulators work, how retro game memory works, and build your achievements around that. They do have a whole process for ensuring that things don't break the game in the process and that the achievements fire off when they are supposed to. So you can check out more on their website if you wanted to dig in and create some of your own achievements. One thing that does not work with Retro Achievements, unfortunately, is the Mr. and other FPGA-based game consoles like those from Analog. Right now, they're not supported, at least at the time I'm recording this video. I would love them to be supported because I play a lot of retro games on my old tube television upstairs using the Mr. The games look amazing on that old television, very authentic. And it would be so cool to get achievements logged from that environment. But at the moment, it is not supported. But hopefully one day they'll figure out a way to make it happen. Now, I do uh, want to get some more people following me. So head over to my uh, Retro Achievements profile, which I'll put in the video description. I'm pretty sure it notifies me when people follow me. So I will try my best to follow people back. And we can build up a little LAN TV community game competition here to see how far we can get See if you can beat my achievements in Afterburner 2. This is the game that I've done the best in so far. Uh, so have at it and let me know how you do, and I'll keep track of things in my Compare Progress section. So that will do it for this one, RetroAchievements.org, completely free of charge. I've got even more free apps to share with you in the coming weeks. There's so much good stuff out there, so I'm looking forward to the next one in this series. But if you haven't played with Retro Achievements yet and you are a fan of retro games, you're going to love it. That will do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.